Hey, hun, where are you? Overtime again? Your manager is a slave driver. Are you holding up okay? There you go again, putting on a brave face. You do so much for us, and I know it's hard on you. So, I'll have a surprise for you when you come home. Look forward to it. Goodbye. Honey, you're finally home. It's later than I expected, but fortunately sushi is best served cold. I got some from your favorite place. I thought we could pop on that show you've been really excited for and just relax. They sent you home with work too? Sweetie, that's downright wage theft. You're home and you should get to relax. No, no, no. Hey, I don't want to hear about that. The rest of your team is exploiting that generous heart of yours, and I won't stand back and watch this happen. You've got to make it clear to them that they can't push you around like this. Go sign into your email. We're going to make a formal complaint. First, with all that you've put into this company, you deserve a raise. Ask your boss to look over the records and demand 50 more cents on the hour by Friday. I know they blow a lot of smoke, honey, but they need you a lot more than you need them. Plus, I've been to those office parties and I can say that your manager is a total chump. If you press them like this, they will fold. I promise. Sugar Plum, you're wording it too soft. This isn't a request, it's a threat. Here, let me do it and you won't have to say a thing. There we go. Why don't you hit send, honey? I'm sure that'll make you feel a little better. Good job. Now, we're going to distribute whatever work you still have amongst your coworkers. I know that they can handle it with how much work you've been doing for them. <sighs> how can we split this project up? Hmm. You have five other people in your group, right? Can you split this six ways? If that's the way you say we should split it, then that's the way it should be split. You know this stuff inside out, and I'm sure you've picked the best combinations possible. Alright, you've got it all sorted. Good. Now give the six to that floozy Diane. Why her? <laughs> One, she offloads her stuff on you all the time. Two, she made a pass at you in front of me. And I assume that was just to stir trouble. And three, I'm very sure she's been stealing your lunches. Sweetie, I know you don't like accusing people, but all the evidence clearly points to her. You've been going hungry all day, and it's because of her. You know, if you wanted to get even, I'd gladly go key her car for you. I know, I know. You don't like it when I mess with people for you. That's why you need to assign her this work. It'll help even the score. Perfect. 
You did so good, sweetie. And now, you can sit back and let me spoil you. Go sit on the couch and get the show ready. I'll take care of everything else. All right, you've got your favorite sushi, a smoothie from that place down the street, and a girlfriend who loves you very much. Why, yes, I am on your lap. Such an observant one you are. Do you know why I'm sitting here? No, it's to give you kisses until you feel loved. Now sit still. Mm -hmm. huh. I still do this all the time, but you always get so red. It's really cute. Okay. Now you should have a clear line of sight. What are we watching tonight? Hey, this is your night. We can watch whatever you want. Something new, something old, the same show we've binged 20 times, whatever would please you. That sounds great. Start it up. I'm not doing anything, sweetie. I don't know what you're talking about. You're missing the show. Keep watching. Oh, you wound me, sweetheart. I'm not doing anything but getting comfortable. And your drink is getting warm, so don't watch me. Honey, you look frigid. No jacket, no blankets, and all that cold food. You must be positively freezing. Alas, I am toasty on this side of the couch with all of these blankets and pillows and... Oh, what's this? Your favorite chocolate. Oh, you know how much I hate this stuff, so it'll probably go to waste on me. It's a shame there's no space for you here. The only spot would be my lap, but I couldn't possibly let you lay there. I'm sure you wouldn't even want to lay on my soft, warm thighs and be smothered by blankets, would you? Oh, I know, I am so cruel. Perhaps I could be convinced to allow you to rest within my little cocoon. But, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Great. Lay down on the blanket and I'll wrap you up. Perfect. All nice and snug. Give me a little tug, would you? I have to make sure I got it tight enough to keep all the heat in. Good. Now that you're bound, I can have my malicious way with you. <laughs> I'll just sneak right in under you and... Perfect. Now I've got you right where I want you. Can you see the CV just fine? Great. I believe I wrapped you with one hand free, right? Well then, here's your chocolate. Enjoy! Why, yes, I am stroking your hair. You agreed to do whatever I said. 
that was the price for this little swaddle of warmth. Well, I demand that you lay still and let me play with your hair. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd like it when I pet you like this. But there's no way that could be the case, because that would mean I orchestrated this whole little trade to get you the head pats you deserve. And why would I do that? I couldn't possibly have known you've always wanted to be pampered but refused to ask me. And I'm certain that if I offered head pats, you wouldn't reject them so as to not burden me. That would be so unlike you. So this must be something else entirely. Yep, I am not doing this for your pleasure. All of this is strictly for me. So it doesn't matter if you think I'd rather be somewhere else or with someone else. Your self-doubts are entirely irrelevant because my malevolent goals cannot be swayed. So, if you want to make me happy, then you'll just have to oblige my every whim. Starting with you depositing that cute face right between my thighs. Was that a yawn, sweetie? I don't have to work tomorrow, so you can fall asleep here with me. I'll keep you warm and cherished all night long. Here, let's put on something a little more serene, and you can rest. How about a fireplace? Just snuggle up and forget about your worries. You've gotten really warm and red. I think you have a fever. I'll have to call your work and tell them you're not coming. You'll be stuck at home getting cared for by your girlfriend. That part is the truth too, so you don't have to feel bad about anything. We've distributed all of the work and you have no responsibilities. Just close your eyes and embrace comfort. <sighs> All this warm fuzzy talk has me sleepy too, but I promise this tranquility won't stop. Tomorrow we'll lounge and maybe we can go to that new restaurant you've been talking about. Whatever my perfect little cinnamon bun wants. <sighs> I love you, sweetie. <sighs>